look at this and tell me what you see yeah to a layman this is a result of a college to an engineering student this is structures using c programming yeah this is where you peek at when you learn c programming you understand how to create structures and an array of structures now soon say one second says what is the structure a structure is a collection of data it's different from an array an array is also a collection of data but in an array all the data has to be of the same data type either all integers or all floats or all characters etc but in a structure this is more realistic all data is not the same data type a structure can have a collection of data where all of them are whichever data type you want like look at this every student over here is a structure the student has a roll number that's an integer a name which is a string which means a character array marks which is an integer percentage which is a floating point number grade which is just a single character you can see there's a whole bouquet of data types put together in one structure a set of these structures is an array of structures and that is your result that's what i'm going to teach you in today's lecture i'm going to show you how to generate this whole result and the program that works for four students will work for 100 students all you need to do is change your count so this can be the program your college uses to display your results if you write it perfectly and submit it you show this during your interview you carry your laptop during your interview you show this program you show you've written this and they ask you question you ready to fire answers you know you practically have got the job on the table all right we're not going to stop here we're going to go one step for further i'm going to then show you how to sort the result what's the point of having data if you can't play with it so you're going to sort the result the way we want by default it is sorted on roll number as you can see but you don't like it you want to sort it by name for sake of easy reading no problem look here the whole structure has changed on its head the rel data relevance is still the same the same students got the same marks but as per the alphabetical order the names have been sorted and so is the whole data if you want to give your top the highest spot the top spot sorted by marks and there you go the topper comes out first with the highest marks in the second and the third and the fourth you come back to sort by roll number you can finish your job by hitting four to exit that's the program we're going to do today what do you think this is going to be tough it's going to take all your mind space though it's far more simpler than what you think programming is very easy if it's taught the right way to you no there are no shortcuts i'm not going to give you a shortcut there isn't but i'm going to show you the simple way of learning things a good teacher can show you how to dodge all the unnecessary aspects and first learn the essence of programming to the point where you can write good code and then understand all the extra bits now anyway this whole program is there on the website along with the entire course of c programming bharatacharyaeducation.com the link is given down below these are various subjects that i teach this course of course this lecture of course is in c programming course select the c programming course make the payment and start learning this is the 24th lecture of our course you understand how much we've done before this we started with the basics displaying hello world the quintessential beginning program then working with integers working with floats working with conditional statements normal if else for loop switch case etc once you got your basics covered then you were into arrays 1d arrays 2d arrays working with functions passing parameters creating characters creating strings playing with those strings and now we are doing structures the peak of c programming and your entry into c++ absolutely the reason why i find this topic so dear to my heart is because this is what introduces you to the concept of a structure a structure is used to create objects and classes this is the objects and classes of c++ pro, pro, c++ is a natural progression of this very concept are you clear so it's not only a peak of c but it's also your entry point into c++ and object oriented programming which is what c++ and java are all about all right now don't wait don't plan some day i will learn programming it, that's it doesn't work like that there's so many students learning programming now programming is taught in school when you sit for your interview you may have the best of marks in the subjects or you may have even a decent uh, report card for your whole, whole engineering but if you can't write programs they ask you question on the, on the table you can't solve them forget about it so don't land up into that situation and then realize when all the good jobs are taken away by your classmates and then you making life so much more more difficult for yourself instead of realizing then now is the time while you are doing engineering 
get on with it programming only looks tough when you see from a distance like swimming like playing guitar like horse riding any of these acquired skills they only look tough when you don't know it once you start doing it you realize it's far simpler than you thought all right hope to see you there wish you all the best do well we go ahead descending means the first number should be bigger than the second if the first number is smaller than the second exchange them that's all that greater than becomes less than so confident we can close this function this is our program this is all just this do you understand this is what you call professionally written code this is your program run this and it works for every case sorted by roll number sorted by name sorted by marks and there comes our topper shining right at the top are you clear all cool change it for 10 elements 15 elements 20 elements show this to your teacher show this is how you want the result should to appear i remember in my college the way it was printed out you don't even feel like looking at it when you know as a programmer you can create such better looking results with such cool options so you can add more options right uh, when you say marks it's theory marks practical marks viva marks etc and then in sorting you can have all the options you can see who's the topper for viva who's the topper for theory and so on then i have i've taught you how to play cricket and i've given you the playground now play as programming the teacher gets you to the point where you know how to do things how well you do it and how creative it is creative you are that's on you all right i hope you enjoyed this please make these run these all right in some of my instagram reel i have made a similar uh, program for cars where i've given all attributes of the car the 0 to 100 the top speed uh, the prices and the mileage etc and then you can sort the table based on that look at that reel and try to recreate that or create some other situation of your own and show me those okay i want to see how good you can do this i'll feel very happy if you do all the best do well